and that's it. But uh, in multifamily, in, in these syndications, and, and you said it right, Rick. I mean, there are a lot of good people out there. There right? are. Maybe, yeah. maybe one or two bad folks, you know, who have less integrity, and, and you figure it out, you know. You, you search for them, you know, they are reviews all over the place for them, burning yeah. off, you know. Right. Uh, you, you cannot think that the whole pond, I mean, the fish, all the fishes in the pond are, are bad. No. Maybe one or two here and there. And those who are there, I, I mean, they don't last for long. I mean, they, they probably last only one or two seasons and that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, one one bad, a deal goes south. Um, that's going to be hard to overcome uh, reputation-wise. And yeah. people know that, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think, uh, for the most part, people aren't, uh, have malicious, they don't have malicious intent. I think you can find some people who are inexperienced and get in over their head. That's a different thing. Um, those things you have to check for. You know, you want to make sure that there is, like I say, enough experience um, so they can, uh, you know, think on their feet and pivot when they need to pivot. Um, but um, I don't know. I think, I, I don't know. I'm biased, but it's, it's an awesome, awesome way to invest. Yeah, I mean, you are saying you are biased, but I, I don't think you are biased. Uh, I mean, this is our business, obviously, we want to promote it. But you are really saying what what everybody should hear, right? I mean, you are screaming from your lungs, saying <laughs> that, guys, come on, you know, what can, what can you do better than this, right? I mean, yeah. really, you and I are sitting, and all we do is, uh, you know, as an investor, we cut the check and, and watch it grow, right? Yeah. I mean, the yeah. who's, who's doing the work, you know. Yeah, and in, in um, you know, the person that I mentioned earlier who said that you know he lost his money in the stock or you know his his nest egg had declined um, massively, um, and that he needed for it to come back, and then he wanted to invest with me. Well, that's a friend, and I know him, and I know he needs this, so I I almost get <laughs> angry, you know. I'm 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 frustrated. Uh, because I know it's a good thing for him. Um, and you know, I got my own, I got my own sister in a couple of deals, you know, the, the, I, I believe, I believe in it. Um, if, if I didn't, I, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. So, um, it's, yeah, it's, it, to me, it's frustrating when people, um, they, they continue down the same path that hasn't gotten them anywhere, you know, continue down that stock market path. Um, I really, I really believe once you get the ball rolling with syndication, you don't have to worry about your nest egg running out because you just rinse and repeat and you just kind of continue to build those, uh, income streams on top of each other, especially when you have a deal or two that, that refinance. Now you get your, you get your capital back. You redeploy that. You stay in that deal. Your cash flow improves in that deal, but now you got money to put in another deal. So now you're actually exponentially increasing your investments. It's kind of like the burst strategy, right? You're, you're, uh, you're pulling money out, you're, you're reinvesting it. Um, and if you want to skim some cash flow out of that, you can, but you're, you're getting your uh, monthly cash flow if you want to live off that. That's sort of what I did. You know, I, um, I built up enough income streams to get me through those slow times. And actually, I still depend on those passive income streams. Like this year, quite honestly, has been slower because it's been difficult to roll out, you know, good deals for people. If we don't have good deals, then we really don't, we can't really be rolling out deals, period, right? So this year has been slower for me than last year. Last year, we had a lot of deals. This year is starting to pick up, but it's been a slow start. So thankfully, I got, I have my income streams to kind of get me through. Um, and those income streams aren't going anywhere because I continue to find other uh, investments to add another income stream. Um, so that that gives me that definitely gives me peace of mind because I you know I got kids I got my wife you know we gotta <laughs> we gotta make ends meet right yes. and if I can't make ends meet at least my investments can you know 